before i go to a builder use cases i would like to show you the ui and how the tool looks so in order to reach ai builder once again go to your home page of uh, power apps anyone uh, how to reach the home page of power apps make dot power apps exactly make dot power apps and in that you will have something called more okay in that you will find something called ai hub click on that it will reach you to a page which will look like this okay so when you reach out to the this place it will look in this manner uh, and no just go to ai models once you enter to ai models uh, just see these are the things okay document processing invoice processing text recognition prediction and the uh, classification customer feedback okay and they are these are the types under documents we have this one extra extra extract custom information from documents extract information from invoices extract all text in photos and uh, pdf documents it's nothing but ocr and extract information from receipts extract inter information from identity document extract information from business card here the models are different but the process is same text text is nothing but uh, i'll say you in the use case and here we have structured the data so here the question comes when it comes to ai builder the question comes in this manner how many types of data we have how many types of data you have processed processed using uh, ai builders or ai builders are how many types of data you how many types of how many types how many types of data we have okay so it's going to be the answer is pretty simple structured structured and unstructured i'll give you understanding better understanding of uh, uh, structured and unstructured data okay structured and unstructured data before i give you something about ai builder let me give you a use case okay a uh, suppose a sales team is there uh, in a company called uh, something we will get, we take it a company called uh, tata water tata water or britannia what these companies do actually tata instead of water i will take it as fmcg ah semi uh, what does tata do and what does britannia do they do production of fmcg product ah uh, what is uh, give me some examples of fmcg products fmcg like uh, tata tata salt tata then we have oil and all oil we have for tata yes tata yes we do have britannia makes biscuits and all mm -hmm. tata water oh ha yes water too tata salt drinks water tata masalas we have Yes. Rice also we have biryani rice. Tea powder. Tata also. Tea exactly. Their main product is then under FMCG is tea, biryani, rice, and tea. Ah, uh, their main product is tea. Under tea they have their various brands like Gemini, Taj Mahal, etc., etc. Someone said, uh, given one more example of Tata product. What is that? Okay. so these are uh, i am taking these two companies as an example here and they sell a, a lot of products as well excluding uh, 
what we have discussed and when it comes to amul it is a dairy it is a dairy product amul it's a dairy company dairy company what does it do it sell milk uh, it sell uh, a curd ghee paneer curd lassi and all exactly all the milk products Butter. ice cream ice cream and uh, yeah except butter i even britannia also sells butter okay uh, yes so so these are some of the M fmcg fmcg usually means fast moving customer go goods okay no these companies are having some sales teams suppose sales teams and how much sales teams they will have for each and every three there will be more than 10 people there will be more than 10 people okay 10 plus people uh, for each street from india wide from complete india from complete country so from complete country they will have nearly 10 sales team a team of 10 for each street and in a complete uh, in a big complete like company like india you can consider that there will be some somewhere around 30000 plus major streets or areas you can say 30000 plus areas and into 10 into 10 how much will be the total how much will be the total ah 30000 into 10 how much i am pretty poor in maths that's the reason i am asking you the answer what is the answer 30000 into 10 yes 3 lakhs 3 lakhs exactly yeah that is the answer not 3 lakhs sales people for each and company uh, we are assuming and they will be every day they will be traveling on their bikes and or else some, some transport medium they will use car or vehicle or some trolley and uh, they will be like reaching each and every show, each and every store to take the orders from various uh, uh, shops and supermarkets 3 lakh people and for 3 lakh people will keep a keep a petrol bill so this is a use case they will keep a petrol bill and this is a small minor activity if they send a screenshot to their uh, supervisor or manager he can also process but the supervisor or ma manager is not an account team person okay so the bill should be reached to the account team uh, account team so what the, what we will do is in this scenario this petrol bill details should be filled in an application so this is an application here this is an application and all these three lakhs people daily 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 they will they will they need to submit the uh, submit the petrol bill and calculated and some people will, some companies will give their daily petrol bill or else some companies will give uh, a monthly petrol bill but the thing is that they should upload their petrol bill daily daily monthly bills are not accepted because if uh, if someone uh, keeps a complete monthly bill he may give a wrong entry or else he may miss some of the dates that is the reason mostly petrol bill will be calculated daily wise or else they will keep a petrol bill and here sales team will not have any kind of restriction they can reach out to anything today they will reach some uh, some they will cover some 2 kilometers tomorrow they may cover 20 kilometers because sales are not happening they need to get more and more customers then only production will increase company's profit will increase now this is a main synopsis of sales sales will never stop your production will stop your application develop development will stop for certain uh, certain stage if the product is uh, ending and product you, uh, your company fulfills the product of the software product uh, development but sales is a continuous iteration it should not stop if it should not stop the fuel should be produced along with the salaries what the company gives to the sales team they also should uh, produce a petrol bill because they are 
moving around the country or moving around the street or moving around the district for the welfare of the company. So uh, company should take care of the petrol bill. If petrol bill is not given, no sales company, no sales guy will work. Okay. So this is the this is the one thing, and uh, they should upload this petrol bill into the app. If it is a small company and the company is like a, a so KSR recently started an FMCG company. KSR recently started KSR FMCG products, and we are having a sales team of five, five sales team. Suppose five sales team. This five pay sales team can easily send the daily bill to their manager, and a manager will conclude, and he will he can easily send it to the uh, accounts department, accounts department. So from there, they will sell to send it to manager, and manager uh, will approve. Manager and manager will directly send to sales team. Uh, sorry, accounts team. And in here it is an easy process because we have recently started. We are a small company in terms of FMCG, not in terms of training. In terms of training, we are one of one among the top, and we are the direct Microsoft partners. But uh, one uh, our uh, what we call uh, our management got an idea, and they want to go into uh, FMCG products. And here we started with just a five team. Here it is possible, but. A company like Amul, a company like Britannia, a company like Tata, a company like ITC will have nearly three lakh salespeople. They may be contract based or they may be permanent, but nearly this thing, this this volume of sales team is possible for FMCG. And FMCG is such a such a kind of uh, uh, market is that daily you should show ads. Take a take Coca Cola or thumbs up or Pepsi. Even though we know that the biggest competitors in the market are uh, Coca-Cola and uh, uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, for every minute we will get ads. Every minute we will get ads because if they if they won't give ads, we will forget the product and we will not buy. This is a fear. In the same way, sales team with sales team with will uh, move around the working move around the working hours across the across the streets or the districts to. Increase the sales, then only production increases and profit will increase. No, in order to move, they want uh, they want petrol in their particular vehicles. Our use case with the air builder is when a petrol bill is uploaded, uh, approval should come and the amount should reach out to the. Uh, this exact detail should reach out to the account team directly, and petrol uh, petrol bill should be approved. And uh, do you see that uh, when you get a petrol bill, in what format the petrol bill will be? Format of petrol bill. Date is there. Uh, they are fees. I am asking you the format. Can. Format of a bill. Can document. Ah, stand Quality. document. Great. Format. Whether it will be in a PDF. Image format or PDF. Image, Word. Uh, again, we have PNG. In the image, we have various types. PNG, JPEG. PNG, JPEG. JPG, both are same. JPG and JPEG, JPG, and uh, SVG format, etc. Okay, these are the formats we have. It may be in PDF, it may be in image, it may be in Word. If we just give an update option, again it will be a problem for the someone to sort even for the software also it is a problem for software to sort because it is not just a five number team it is a three lakh team and do you need that uh, uh, accounts team will be 10 in number only for a big company or small company the accounts team will be 10s or 20s or 50s will be the maximum for a accounts team in a, a company in a big company like Deloitte also the accounts still will be subjected to only 50 members okay 
and 50 members do you feel that it is that much easy to uh, evaluate all the 3000 uh, uh, petrol bills is it possible in a day no not possible 50 50 50 people need to take care of just a uh, petrol bill and do you feel that economist team is having only duty of just taking care of the sales team petrol bill they need to pay the expenses of the production they need to collect the amounts from their dealers okay they need to release the salaries of remaining employees they need to pay rents for the lands which they have taken they need to pay money for the uh, raw material okay in order what is the raw material to make biscuits biscuits ka raw material kya hai wheat wheat or maida good okay and what for packaging for packaging also we should get some raw material correct Huh. These are all the other activities that accounts team should pay the pay the uh, pay the bills for. If they keep on just uh, reading the petrol bill, it will be a waste of time and the production. I mean, productivity of the accounts team will reduce. In this case of in these scenarios, so what we can do is what we can do is we will get various bills, various formats of the bills, various formats of the bill. Okay, various formats of the bill and we will train the AI model. We will train the AI model so that it captures the fields. No, the, no same with the fields. Someone started saying date, etc. etc. It, it captures the it captures the fields. It captures the fields of the uh, bill. No, Semi, what can be the fields? What can be the fields? Date, amount. Date. Amount. Amount. Uh, amount. Number of liters of petrol. Company name. Uh, I mean, the company name in the sense of petrol bunk name. Bunk mm -hmm. name. Correct. And we can also take the state also. Location. Restricted. Location. Ah, location. Exactly. Location. Because uh, sales team are across uh, India. So they also need to get a location. Because in some in some in some locations the petrol cost will be 100. In some in some locations it will be 115, 120. So they also need to get a location to verify whether they are keeping a correct bill or not. Okay, these are few fields which we can uh, and a name of name of the person also. This is very important. Person name, employee ID. ID name and ID. Name and ID also. Okay, so these are the things which are mandatory should be in the uh, format of the bill. And here we have an option also. Before uh, AI builder also we have an option. Uh, it will uh, what we what they, what we can do is. Uh, we will upload the data, I mean like manually enter the data and we will upload the PDF, I mean like a bill, bill, uh, bill image as a proof. This is also one option is there. Again here the problem is that if you do it manually, again account team should cross check the image and the fields which you have entered. Suppose the bill is uh, costing 1025 and account team want to process, they want a proof. What will happen if they want a proof? Again, they will cross verify the bill and they will cross, cross verify the input fields which you have entered. 1025 is in the input field and uh, the bill is show, showing 1015. Again, it will be a problem. Again, it will come for uh, uh, what we call uh, a rework. It will be a rework. Again, they will say that uh, mismatch in your bill, uh, please correct it and send. Again, it will be a time waste. So what they will, what we will do is we will train uh, we will train the AI model. So this is a model. So in uh, here extract information from invoices we can take extract custom information from documents. Extract information from receipt. So okay, uh, receipt is in this manner. So in a bank 
we will we can get a bill directly if we ask or else he will directly print the receipt than you so a receipt is something which will looks like this and an invoice is something which we, which look like this so probably for a petrol uh, petrol scenario we will not get a invoice something like this okay will most probably get a invoice in this uh, uh, will probably get a receipt like this what we will do is uh, in a manual when we are developing this ai model we will collect all the various formats from across the india what the sales are doing sales people are doing we will gather all these formats from various states various states are various buildings various states are various invoice format we will gather all the things and we will train an ai model so for all these formats what we will do is for all these formats what we will do is we will train a ai model we will train a ai model train an ai model train an ai model okay once ai model is trained no we will train it in such a way that so if you are training a cricket player if you are training an all rounder like hardik pandya so his coach will train him in both bowling fielding and as well as batting in the same way we will train our ai model in both structured data with unstructured data no i will give you the concept of structured and unstructured data structured so i will take a same bill as an example if the bill is always from a same bank okay same bank or else it is from a same dealer same dealer ah uh, means if hp means hp bank only if uh, bharat petroleum means bharat petroleum only indian oil means indian oil and this is uh, when comes to the company and same bank means highly impossible we said that our sales team is across india and same bank is highly impossible same bank is highly impossible correct yes or no same dealer possible or possible or not same dealer so in hyderabad the dealer called uh, uh, tillu filling store is there in hyderabad can we find the same tillu filling store in pune is the is there a possibility no. possibility is there no no very no. very minor possibility so and company company is there a possibility is there a possibility that all uh, because if sales team will do the will do the sales in cities will do the sales in uh, villages will do the sales in towns and will do the same in uh, remote areas also it, because in, if you go to kashi something like himachal pradesh there also uh, we will see amul products there also we will see tata products there also we will see britannia products correct in those remote areas we cannot expect the same company no if some uh, if uh, britannia orders their employees to fill it from only hp bank no it is highly impossible that we will find an hp bank in himachal pradesh uh, uh, hilly roads highly impossible so these three things are cannot be possible so structured data is here not possible no let me give you one, one more example you have paid uh, your fees to ksr uh, ksr private limited our company 100% i can sure that you will all get the same invoices same invoices where date field is there there only date field will uh, date field uh, date field will be there where total billing is there there only you will get total billing where taxes are there there only you will find tax taxes now this is called structured data and you all belong to a same you all belong to a say you are you are all getting your training from the same company called ksr private limited ksr data vision private limited because you are all invoices uh, will be same this can i can assure but for a company like a uh, vast company like tata britannia and uh, itc it is highly impossible to get a structured data now let's take an example of dominos let's take an of dominos what dominos will do anyone make pizza ah they'll just pizza make and they also sell pizza and bread ah they will make and even sell also okay okay so here uh, each uh, 
see suppose if you are selling something in uh, delhi there will be some additional taxes like something called green tax that same green tax is not applicable in himachal pradesh or hyderabad so based on the state the taxes will vary the central tax will be same but based on the state there will be something called uh, some additional taxes there will be some uh, clean uh, clean tax uh, bmc we have but bmc the taxes are high Uh, because it is it it need to accommodate bmc means bangalore uh, grohan Ma bangalore municipal corporation the taxes are high compared to other uh, other states because it need to accommodate more people it need to get more water from other uh, other areas so the cost for municipality will be higher keeping all this all this in uh, uh, picture they will design the taxes also in this way for even though it is a dominos it is all it is selling uh, it is from it is a same franchise day, franchise chain and it is a it is selling the same goods in all its uh, all its stores even though their invoice format is same but the invoice uh, fields will be different can you make can you consider it as a structured data yes or no no exactly no no let's see okay uh, so so people are thinking that they want to implement some uh, some law based on that every state will have same taxes and every, every state will have same policies etc etc uh, the bjp government is planning if that also comes into picture no let's calculate it from so dominos is having a store in india and dominos is having a store in canada no way both this the canada taxes and the canada prices will be different and the indian taxes and indian prices will be different no they want to submit all these uh, what we call uh, submit all the profits or the all the invoices to the central team which is in us there we will get a crash based on the countries also uh, if you want to do if you want to make a, if you want to make an app or make a, what we call some train a model uh, structured data is highly impossible structured data is highly impossible so structured data is highly impossible so so this is called unstructured data or unstructured invoices and Un unstructured invoices unstructured data means format of docs are not same not same here when it comes to structured data all the formats and all the fields will be same okay so this is a difference between structured data and unstructured data based on your requirement most probably in the things which i have worked on no, i will get unstructured data only uh, but if you are uh, if in some use cases internally suppose if you want to do a create an ai model for our invoices or uh, invoices our students invoices in ksr then we will definitely go for structured data structured data in order to read the information it will take less time but it when it comes to unstructured data your training model should also be in a very high you should train the model in a very high manner you should also code them accordingly okay uh, you need to link the fields properly here in structured data it will be a smooth run when it comes to unstructured data you need to keep in mind each and every problem which you can face you need to get all invoices across the world okay so dominos will collect, get the invoices of uh, uh, various stores various states of various countries then create a model now this is a difference between structured data just remember one thing in ai model when compared to other tools working with the ai model is like a cake walk but the thing is that it is a very bit costly too and you need to know how to use that which i will teach main questions in ai builder which you will get is types of types of ai builders so types of ai builders so fastly you should say fastly you should say when someone ask you know uh, just big extract custom information from documents extract information from invoice extract the uh, text in photos and uh, this is prediction model i will discuss it about this prediction model no only and customer feedback okay 
any questions till here when i started working with ai models there were only just four models there were only just four models but here we have under documents i have six under text i have some so many ai under structure data i have one images i have three all images when i started working with ai models i have only document i have image i have ocr and i have uh, this one prediction model only four models we have no they have simplified and simplified for ease of use they have separately made a ai model for invoice processing document processing receipt processing etc i will give, clearly give you information when i directly go to topic and when we are doing hands on i will give you more information on document processing invoice processing receipt processing etc but for today do you understand that if someone asks you questions how many types of ai builders are there in ai models ai models are there in ai builders you can give these answers which you can see document processing invoice processing photo processing receipt processing uh, id card processing etc okay now let's go this is one one use case of ai model now let's go to let's go to feedback or analysis future analysis prediction model prediction model okay it is very simple to understand when you want to purchase some mobile phone or some product from amazon which things you will focus any model online price a uh, model price apart from that color color i agree again brand superb size size now all the Futures which you are saying now from the user perspective of you. No, let's say me. I am the owner. You are only the owner. Please put yourself in the owner. Okay. Okay. Please put yourself in the owner. What you will observe? What you will take care? You are not Amazon owner. Product owner. Best quality and selection. Offer. offers ah you will provide offers good from over perspective if you provide more offers then you can gain more customers okay trend, one more thing trend, selling trend entertainment trend of, okay okay apart from that feedback coaches exactly who said feedback i said ranjit ranjit yeah exactly you will go rating. and see the feedbacks and rating based on the feedback and rating as a owner you will understand whether to reach the customer and uh, give me a new product so is there will be lot of customer saying that i received a damaged product i received a old product i received a used product especially when it, when it comes to all things even mobile phones also there will be like, there will be like, like some customer saying that there is a used mobile there is a used t-shirt there is a used kurta there is a used saree saree etc etc a lot of things will happen no as a business owner when i go to customer reviews and feedback then i will come to understand what is happening exactly what is happening exactly now what we will do is we will take all the comments we will take the all the comments so let's see this users comment deepak kumar is what deepak kumar is saying inside amazon he is saying superb i will mark this word print quality i will mark this word really good i will mark this word at this price i mark this word pretty cool pretty cool to be honest okay and t-shirt because here the product is t-shirt i will mark these words and make that whenever i result i receive this type of words in any kind of comment any kind of comment make it as a positive prediction make it as a positive prediction because as a owner i cannot come and read daily uh, nearly 125 ratings because i am not only selling this product this beokoo this is beokoo company 
okay he is not only selling only one one t-shirt he will sell nearly 100 to 200 t-shirt and for each and every 100 to t-shirt if you want to come and uh, read the ratings it's highly impossible so they will use a, a model which will give their prediction on feedback no here you see let's go for a negative connect sizing is correct as per the chart quality of the material quality already we have marked the quality there that part that guy is saying the quality is good but quality of the material is not great i will use this keyword will be rough use in one to two washes rough and mark this so i will train the model that if any feedback if it comes and if any feedback is containing this kind of term treat it as a negative now at the end user by the day i will have only two columns the ai model is only filtering all this uh, all these uh, feedbacks and it will be giving me only two columns to the owner main owner positive and negative positive 35 negative 25 so kuch to dal mein kala hai he will come to understand and he will go to production and he will go to design team and he will ask for the changes no for the same for one more t-shirt for one more t-shirt for one more t-shirt uh, this product and uh, we, we have also created an ai model for this and uh, it is having 3.9 rating okay so we will take it and here the positive are 35 and a negative or 5 he will not even take care of the product also where the negative cases are high as a product owner i will come into the picture and look it look into my uh, design team look into my production team so this is a prediction model any questions still here so these kind of developments which we have which we will do uh, in ai model so this is a thing which i have co didn't cover in our first five session that is the reason i have covered it uh, today so people who joined new i request you to go through uh, i would like to stop the session here people who attended today they can clarify the questions along with the people uh, who are attending daily uh, i will take the questions from the people who are uh, attending regularly if you have any questions you can ask i would like to stop the session here from our regular class Yes. Yeah. Yesterday you told that uh, on environment and solution that you will told, tell about managed and unmanaged portion about this. Good, Rajini. Thanks for that. So here uh, we have managed solution and unmanaged solution. So solutions are of two types, and very very important uh, uh, interview question. solutions are are two types one is managed solution unmanaged comes first unmanaged unmanaged and another thing is managed you understood how to import and export correct you can export and import solutions correct yes or no yes exactly but when to do it as unmanaged and when to do it as managed i will give a clarity so when you are creating a new solution for development purpose for development purpose are doing changes are enhances in this scenario what you will do as a developer you will create a you will create a unmanaged solution and when you are giving it to production you will convert that solution into managed solution and then give it to production because the production version is always live this is the one which is used by various users but when it when it comes to developer uh, environment no it will be used or developed by only developers only developers correct but in when it comes to production all the various users so if they are uh, uh, if uh, if we have released that app to all the sales team of the all the sales team okay all the sales team how many sales team we are having for this use case 3 lakh people so if you go and change something some solution in the production what will happen you know it will affect all those 3 lakhs people so 
to protect or to uh, i mean like uh, to create a discipline to create a discipline for developers we will uh, distribute the environments into environments into the uh, developer production developer testing and production okay so as we said uh, i mean you are better clarify you have a better clarification and understanding of developer environment testing environment and production environment and what type also we will, uh, we will use you got a clarity and newcomers please go to yesterday's video get it from my hands uh, so here we have managed solution managed solution is nothing but you cannot do any changes you cannot do any changes if you do changes also changes will appear in changes will appear as layers so a layer is formed a layer is formed a layer is formed but the changes which you do will not go live the changes which you do will not go live production changes will appear as layers production will appear as layers okay Now these are the synopsis about solutions and uh, uh, solutions and uh, managed solution and managed solution. And we will learn more on it in our upcoming classes. We will learn more. Okay. When so we are I doing real time application. Ah uh, yes yes. So if it will not go live, then what is the use of uh, what is the use of changes? Ah uh, yes. Very good question. what you will do is you will come back to your developer environment whatever the changes are asked you will do it in the developer environment again the process repeats the deployment we call it deployment again you push it to testing someone will do the testing they will certify then you will send this test version to production very good question correct oh production you should not touch anything production is main for user if you want to do or add some new features you will come to your developer you will take your old solution you will do the changes then do the testing then do the production deployment we will learn it more in pipelines so from tomorrow we will be like starting uh, our administration part whatever the things which happened you know they are just uh, baby steps tomorrow everyone attend from your laptop we will be starting our administration part by creating everything tenant from scratch okay but better you get the access of our tenant ksr uh, id you get because that is a valid environment it will stay with you for life long until you get job we are not going to remove your access okay semi structured is not there vignesh uh, can you brief your question more the same is done by rpa tools also right no 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 that thing we call it as web scrapping production is different and web scrapping is different the rpa tool which you have said no that will be uh, uh, web scrapping we won't do production with uh, web scrapping rpa tool uh, whatever we develop bot no that is not a updated bot it is a uh, programmed in such a way that uh, okay the, you follow these steps to get this data that's it live production is not possible with the rpa duration of the course is more than 3 3 months so nearly 3 and 1/2 months you can consider and if uh, and uh, in unforeseen condition if there are some holidays and uh, or else uh, if i have some project uh, or else uh, some you know uh, keeping unforeseen conditions in uh, few in view uh, you can read it as 4 months but more than 3 months yeah for every tool we will create a new project from my side i will explain you one project along with the basics and fundamentals and i will give you one more project which you need to do parallel yes master uh, projects will be covered 
so once uh, in every tool i will cover some basics and based on the basics we will start on uh, developing the projects no issues and interview preparation everything will be covered oh thank you so, okay uh, for uh, two weeks or 15 days uh, in a in a month i will take mock interviews and uh, you know basically i am asking you some questions in the in the, uh, in the between the classes those questions only as it is you will get in a interview okay so out of 10 questions seven questions what i am asking you in the class where i am like a uh, pointing more and more they are only part of your interview questions i am stressing some point is at a interview question and today also i have an interview with bp company i do interviews even my team do uh, in ksr do interviews uh, along with our students so just to get the questions for you guys so it is also going to be very practical the questions which are lively asked in the interviews those only uh, i'll make is this clear what about the certifications like uh, if you need any certifications and ha very good question so we are a microsoft certified partner if you some certification is costing 5000 for you we will give you a coupon code once you register you will get a 50% discount and the certifications which you can prepare so if you complete if you give me 100% from your side uh, from your side through to my entire training like uh, submitting the assignments submitting the task and doing the documentation which i ask you to do if you do properly you will be eligible for pl 900 pl 100 and pl 200 but pl 100 they are like removing its power up maker but pl 200 power up consultant so these three you can easily cover pl 100 and pl uh, 200 okay will be clear again you sorry mm -hmm. pl 300 pl 300 is power bi and uh, in this power bi uh, in this uh, particular uh, power platform no you actually there are a lot of power bi developers actually so if you want to clash with them no uh, it becomes difficult that is why we have certain modifications so even if you are going with a power bi course also we are we are doing it with fabric our main focus is to clear the market and get the job here if you focus on just power bi no uh, there will be like in pl 900 uh, power bi questions will be there so if you have pl 900 or pl uh, 200 you will be valid you will be automatically validated power bi uh, engineer only no questions in that oh, if you go for pl 300 the topic is only power power bi if you go with pl 900 fundamentals of power apps power automate power bi all are covered if you go with pl 200 consultant related power bi power apps power automate ai builders uh, uh, every tool will be covered model driven data works correct actually okay yeah good thank you yep yep uh raj yes bala raj okay so oh um, will you going to cover uh, data was if so right how ah, ah, yeah, how much yeah, yeah, yeah. data was going to cover data was complete from scratch from scratch to creating an app, uh, model driven app from that we'll cover everything okay is it uh, are we going to cover uh, plugins something plugins sir uh, are you a c sharp developer are you from crm background uh, i am c sharp developer c sharp okay so i will give you some assignments separately because uh, most of the students you know uh, if i introduce c sharp code and all those things at the early stages it is impossible so i will give you separately those things and you can work on that and implement no and uh, in most of the for crm developer only uh, it's like plugins are asked in interviews or else uh, i'll ask but there will be a separate team for uh, making plugins that is crm developers they will make the plugin and mm -hmm. give it to you okay uh, if you want to give a introduce a custom custom code we will do it with the javascript which is related to uh, dynamics javascript we will implement so that thing uh, when when we are uh, doing model driven application in the customization of the model driven application we will come to know uh, that that you will cover right 
Yes. Okay. Okay. A CRM means uh, you said like uh, Salesforce like that, right? Yeah, some application like that. We have a uh, same competitor in Microsoft Dynamics that is called uh, MS uh, CRM, Dynamics CRM. But all the features what you have in Dynamics CRM, we will have. We will cover it in the model driven application as a power platform developer. So if you take a CRM application, no, you can use it only for sales purpose. But if you start anything from model driven or data version, no, you can customize it into any kind of, you can make an HR application, you can make a production application, you can make a manufacturing application. Possibilities are high. You can make a shipping application. Uh, if you do it from scratch and data version, but if you buy the dynamic CRM, you can only cover the sales modules. So that is a disadvantage. Okay. Power Automate Cloud will be covered because you are a power platform developer. If you are an RPA developer, we, we will focus on Power Automate Desktop, but I will give some, I will take some sessions on Power Automate Desktop. And uh, if you want to, uh, if you have self-motivation, you can uh, learn it from internet. I can guide you on a Power Automate Desktop, but we will soon launch a course on RPA. In that, we will cover both UI path and uh, uh, power Automate Desktop Master. So in this course, we will cover cloud only and uh, some basic topics of desktop, which is enough for you. So there will be a lot of uh, similarities between Power Automate Cloud and Power Automate Desktop. If you are in a position to identify those uh, changes by keeping some time on Power Automate Desktop, uh, definitely have you start and have you develop a uh, uh, what's in the Power Automate desktop, I will definitely give insights. Okay, Bhaskar? But not the entire desktop, because desktop only will take me 45 days to complete, 45 to two months. Okay, thanks. Sorry, uh, who is that speaking? I am unable to Bhaskar, Bhaskar, myself. Yes, Bhaskar. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah, I have a question. Yes, sir. So, for example, I'll consider like Power BI that have been created a report. Hmm. So, the data sources like I'll consider some uh, SQL. Hmm. So, there'll be there'll be a manual testing going on. Like every day, a tester used to develop do the testing. It's a, like a recursive testing or something like that. Uh -huh. So can we automate that testing? Whatever he picks, like manually writing the SQL code, whatever he do, he writes the test cases. Can we automate that one using Power Ops or Power Automate? Uh, testing use cases till now we didn't got to automate. Okay. okay. Testing is something uh, which is done uh, rigorously from point to point. If there is a screen, so in this screen, I will see Karthik, I will see Bala, I will see Praveen, I will see Annapurna, I will see Emani. If I want to do a functional testing, as a tester, I need to check your spellings. I need to check the card, if the card, the card is coming properly, if this card is responsive, if this card is correct, and if this card is placed in the proper way. My speaker name is coming in the center or not. These things can be done manually only by the tester. Yeah, okay. But, uh, and if, if you automate the process, uh, if the spelling name is changed, if the spelling is mistake, but in that we have like kept uh, Karthik, uh, C R K R T H I K. I I have kept in a document to test the check it uh, Karthik. But as per you, Karthik is also correct. T H I C K. Now what happens here now, my uh, bot will recognize this as a wrong and a complete flow will stop. Correct. Again, I need to restart the flow and I need, again, I need to go to change and release process. So any kind of testing use cases till now in my career, I haven't created bots for testing. 
we have done excel automation we have done windows automation we have done uh, browser automation uh, we have done salesforce automation we have done sap automation using rpa but uh, till now testing automation no company have given me karthik but it's a good question uh, your uh, your question uh, definitely deserves an ask but till now the, there are not no such use cases so for example if i have a sql code so i'll be validating from sql i'll be running the those uh, sql code and i'll be checking with the power bi ui the values the insights are matching or not if it if it is that case can i can i do any automation using power apps or power automate ah uh, kartik uh, probably see here again it going to be a uh, severe task for the bot okay so usually what are the use cases for uh, uh, bots is that which are repetitive tasks like if someone goes to excel sheet so some uh, uh, so something like uh, some you take a kia showroom you take a bmw showroom they are like selling from each showroom in india in india suppose there are like 100 showrooms they are selling documents uh, they are selling the vehicles and they are selling uh, they are creating invoices and uh, they will be giving this to some manual uh, manual manual person to enter in the main central uh, central database okay they will be storing uh, so once a, once a invoice is generated they will be storing in them their in their uh, respective shared drives and some manual person will go and uh, pick those columns and will uh, pick them in the central database this kind of things we will create bots using rpa or with uh, or we can do it with power automate uh, specifically not much with power automate but power automate is good we do this kind of sales automation and we will do and uh, something like uh, we want to get so some some invoices uh, some sales taxes are generated in sales force main invoice is generated in a sap so someone need to go and log in every day and collect these two invoices and store them in a another uh, database this kind of things we can automate okay but yeah uh, annapurna uh, uh, i'm like i'm working in one of, okay karthik i hope uh, uh, we are uh, good uh, yeah annapurna i am working in one of the uh, mnc uh, which i would not like to record yeah i worked for uh, various clients uh, like uh, in a non recorded session we will do okay we will have a greet and meet and that i will give you more insights on where we have worked and uh, what we have do okay okay so i would not like to reveal uh, my company directly here due to due to some policies okay anapurna अनपूर्णाशन या okay uh, sharepoint is a third party integration uh, we will uh, integrate that one if you know integrating sharepoint no it will be easy for you to integrate uh, uh, salesforce it will be easy for you to integrate sap it will be easy for you to integrate sql in the same way dynamics also you can dynamics f and also you can integrate at least will you going to take any of other uh, like sap Salesforce you give the credentials. I will show you. You you go, you give the credentials of SAP and Salesforce uh, based on your project. I will integrate it. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, sir, name is Sapna. Ne. Sir, today actually, I have to take a long fifteen years of break. Only. I am teaching side. Only. Uh, software side. Or more than that. Yes. We can make for any side. Yes. is it possible aaj manam we we manam separate ka discuss chesam in possibilities gunchi mahesh kodu unnaro okay we will guide how it works manam guide chestunnam okay sir okay thank you hello rajesh 
సంబంధించి <coughs> 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 క్లౌడ్ డెస్క్టాప్ క్లౌడ్ కానీ లేదంటే సారీ పవర్ ఆటోమేటిక్ క్లౌడ్ ఆర్ డెస్క్టాప్ ప్లగ్ ఇన్స్ సంబంధించి ఎక్కువ క్వశ్చన్స్ అడుగుతున్నారు ఇంతకి సో మీరు ఏదైనా కంప్లీట్ గా ఒక ప్రాజెక్ట్ సంబంధించి రెండు ప్రాజెక్ట్ సంబంధించి ఓవరాల్ టచ్ చేసేటట్లు ఏమన్నా ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తున్నారా చేస్తారా ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ టూల్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ టూల్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఐ ఆస్క్ ఐ యామ్ ఆన్సరింగ్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ టూల్ ఐ విల్ డూ బేసిక్స్ అండ్ ఐ విల్ క్రియేట్ అన్ ఎండ్ టు ఎండ్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ కరెక్ట్ yes every tool every mm. tool not only just the one tool mm. uh, in every tool i will first uh, teach this fundamentals then an end to end product so mari ne return back like konda complete ga ee session lo by the next. end of the complete the three and a half months you will get what you want you can easily clear the any kind of interview thanks rajesh uh, and for everyone who are new after our one month one and a half month of training uh, we will push your uh, resume to the job sites it may be linkedin it may be naukri and it may be indeed etc whatever we are then your real game will start immediately after one and a half month so that's the reason by the one and a half month you will get uh, what we call uh, some tools we will you will perfect you will get uh, perfect insights and some some tools you will have an oral understanding and based on that only i will give at least keeping the scenario that you should clear a screening round what i will do is i will i will conduct the lectures and this is most effective and this is only i am following and the success rate also, rate, rate is also high at least two tools i will i will fully complete okay and the remaining tools i will give uh, i mean like i will give you some uh, uh overview and some integration part because uh, all the tools in power platform are interrelated interrelated you cannot like uh, dismantle one tool and no 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 i just want to work on power app only i want to vacancies in power app only nothing no 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 i don't want, i want to just work as an admin because there will be no coding part no no no, no. this is not possible at all i, I like power automate cloud it is having triggers and uh, uh, triggers and uh, actions this is very easy for me never come with that attitude uh, you come you give equal importance to each and every tool and within one and half month your confidence will be such high if that too if you come regularly regularly to the class don't miss the class and kindly connect from mobile don't connect from mobile phone from tomorrow since these are free sessions uh, i even didn't ask till today but from tomorrow you should be doing hands on along with me at least for some days after getting some grip uh, yes these concepts are covered these i am strong then you can attend because this is a morning session i can also i cannot also not insist you some some people may be working till the night and uh, some people may, may be doing their household works works uh, some sometimes we may get uh, some special occasions like uh, some relatives may might come to our home in this scenario you take it into consideration and you can uh, connect from your uh, bed with the with the convenience of the mobile but especially for the one and a half month for one and a half month don't use mobile phone to connect connect with the laptop and whatever i am practicing here based on the availability you do practice here make at least if i am covering 100% as a practical you should complete you should complete 50% in your laptop simultaneously so this is uh, my expectations from tomorrow okay so raj only power uh, so Good. power uh, app is not enough so, so uh, you are saying like that ah suraj it depends it's totally ha ha anapurna each and every class is recorded and uh, uh, in your login you will have all the videos no issues every every class you will get okay uh, yes suraj ha so- until okay. you get job until you get job you equal importance to everything but once you are in the job no 
your manager will recognize your skill set based on that he will assign the task but i'm saying you clearly based on the situation based on the company uh, if you have more skill set no if there is project in power apps for 3 years they will continue as a power app developer but suddenly they got a project into power automate they don't have a power apps project if in that situation also if you stick yourself just with the just power apps no then it i may it will be like a, a trouble to you only but my sincere okay. advantage is you yes. equal importance to everything and everything is like easy only if you understand and get the use cases correctly and understand the basics believe me uh, everything is easy only in the three and a half months definitely uh, you will become more perfect than me you will ask more questions than me you will you will work more than me because this is going to be all fun no coding low code okay suraj okay. never keep okay. at least until you get the job at least you get un, until you get the job give equal importance to all tools okay okay after you get the job you say to the manager i am work i worked 10 projects in power apps only i give me power apps power apps project only this is becoming tough for me in this way you can ask and based on that also based on the availability if there is an equal availability of that project you will get but don't dare also getting a job is our main scenario and satisfying your client or your manager is the main important thing but you can express uh, what you want even your some managers will ask in which tool you are perfect at that time you can openly say okay uh, but until you get job don't give equal importance because based on their project requirement they will uh, shoot questions on the respective tool higher but power apps and power automate you will get more questions okay and model driven application this three these three will have major portion of questions and after that you will get questions on pva after that you will get questions on ai builder after that you will get questions on uh, power bi okay power bi is the last <laughs> very less very less because already power bi power bi developer will develop something and they will give it to you just you need to understand that dashboard and you need to integrate it that integration if you know that is enough okay and and minimum basics and what is required uh, for a power bi uh, for a power plant uh, for a power plant for developer how much skill and how much basic knowledge is required that i will provide okay somebody said that uh, sql also uh, asking sql here uh, we will be covering two databases one is sharepoint list and one is ha uh, huh. if you know sharepoint integration you can integrate any kind of database in the world 1000 plus connectors you can integrate okay okay you as a power platform developer you is you will integrate a sql server you will not de- develop an sql server but Uh, if you want uh, you can get uh, the recording access we will provide the recorded sessions of sql you can go through uh, your database will be, become stronger that uh, arrangement we can, i can give okay yep sir hello yes yes who is this heman sir i am shiva shiva yes shiva yes shiva sir i am some non technical background okay ha uh. coding software about the coding here no coding is required shiva just your analytical skills and your uh, uh, what we call uh, arithmetical skills are required ha you told the report class about the c sharp that is for a, he is an advanced he is already working no he is working as a okay. crm developer that is the reason okay. they are asking him more on c sharp and .net you will be introducing okay. yourself as a power platform developer only and the interviewer also will know a power platform developer will integrate plugins but not create plugins okay okay, okay. thank you sir but it's better that you work on don't go to c sharp you in your free time just learn javascript to build okay. logics to build logics uh, you learn javascript no one will ask questions on javascript don't fear in interview no one will ask you questions on javascript but uh, in order to handle some situations in your job profile at least few basics of uh, coding are required shiva okay uh, but uh, since you are from non technical no uh, just try 
I mean, like you just play with those uh, kind of uh, JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript okay. will be useful for you everywhere. Okay, sir. Got. Yeah. Can we uh, go with uh, rather than Java with Python, Rajesh? Sorry. Can we go with Python rather than JavaScript? Here we are da not uh, data already Python. Uh, what Python will do? Uh, all those things are integrated in our PBA. Okay, Power Virtual Agents and uh, AI builders already they were triggered. Okay, uh, and when you are like uh, you, uh, did you have have you seen uh, our uh, our uh, when we are creating? Have you seen our demo? Like when we are taking the picking the controls. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, when we are picking a controls, an unknown language that is a uh, machine learning language only, an unknown language will come into the picture and it will create a code backend. And that code I will show you one day. So we have created just one or two screen apps. But for those two screens, nearly there will be thousand codes of line which will be created for, by already some AI language like. Uh, Typically like Python and we are not pretty sure that is a business logic of Microsoft and we are not pretty sure, but we can see the code. So it's like we took just 20 minutes or 15 minutes to, 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 to create those two UI screens. But beside that, a CSS code will be written by itself only, by the power platform itself only. A, a HTML code will be written and a YML file will be created by YML. Okay, these are all done already by that tool. Okay, now you need to guide that tool in a proper way what your business requires. So, if you have time, go with Python. It's not wrong if you are learning something, no, uh, it's always good only. Yeah, good. Yeah, but uh, if you are more into programming, go with C sharp and .NET, and uh, if you are less into programming, go with JavaScript. Now, this is my recommendation as per the uh, market and uh, as per the uh, requirements across the globe. We'll be covering FNO. Uh, FNO, I will cover three, pa three parts and uh, I will try to. And I see more openings on. You will see more openings for Power Platform Dynamic CRM, but Power Platform FNO combination is a very less. Uh, uh, yet, I will try to show you how we will integrate. How we will integrate FNO. But for this, uh, I valid uh, FNO, uh, I mean like FNO license is required and FNO uh, the remote desktop RDS connection is required. We will try to fetching it from our end, but especially this is a very costly tool. Uh, but integration, how we can do, I will show you. No worries. FNO is something different, Annapurna. FNO is a, it's a separate uh, universe. Okay, in power uh, power platform we are having, and no one will ask a power platform developer to do a F and over. That is a finance and operation. Someone will come and ask you to integrate F and O into power uh, power apps. That thing uh, that project I have worked on, uh, I will show you how you can integrate F and O uh, with the power automate. But if someone is like, uh, if you have a valid license, you can give, you can uh, give that licenses to me. Uh, then it will be easier for me to show you. Okay, but we are also trying to fetch those licenses. It is a very very costly affair. We are doing, uh, okay, okay, Anapurna. I think I have cleared it. Power apps, FNO combinations, you will not get. Power apps, dynamics co uh, combination, they are a lot. And that dynamic CRM concepts, everything we will cover in a model driven applications. Okay, Anapurna. Any other questions? Uh, 